The Lamington Man by Kel Richards and Glenn Singleton. Matilda was baking lamingtons with flour and milk and eggs. One cake she shaped like a little man with a head and arms and legs. She baked him in the oven, then soaked him in chocolate sauce and sprinkled him with coconut to finish him off, of course. Matilda smiled at her handiwork the cute little lamington man. But then she screamed and fainted when he leapt up off the pan. He jumped down to the kitchen floor and ran right out of the kitchen door, crying, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the lamington man. Matilda's lazy kitchen cat, a ginger tom called mate, chased the little lamington man but lost him at the gate. Next door's dog was sleeping, dreaming of buried bones. And when he was awoken by a little voice that called out in mocking tones, I've outrun Matilda's kitchen cat. At only half speed, I can do that. So run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the Lamington man. The little man lost the chasing dog at the corner of the street, and still he kept on travelling fast, running on lamington feet. Around another corner, and there he saw a postman. Catch me, catch me if you can, he said. I'll outrun most men. I've outrun a dog and a kitchen cat, and I'll outrun you in your silly little hat. So run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the Lamington Man. The Lamington Man had a postman, a dog and a cat in pursuit as he ran towards the river, making a mocking salute. Lazing on the riverbank was a big green crocodile. When it saw the Lamington Man, the croc began to smile. I've outrun a postman, a cat and a dog, and I'll outrun you you lazy log. So run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the Lamington Man. I'm sorry, said the crocodile, lifting its claw to its ear. I'm getting old and rather deaf. I simply could not hear. The Lamington Man stepped closer, shouting louder, the little boaster. I said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the Lamington Man. The crocodile squinted in the sun, saying, sorry, I missed it. Come closer and say it louder, you revolting little biscuit. I'm made of cake, said the Lamington Man, speaking louder and stepping nearer. It's not my fault, you greasy croc, that you're a rotten hearer. Are you talking? asked the crocodile. There's nothing I can hear. Step on up, little lamington man. Speak right into my ear. The lamington man stepped right up close, next to the scaly hide. One quick snap of the crocodile's jaws. Lamington man, inside. The crocodile burped as it swallowed the man. I'm sorry, it said. How rude, adding as it licked its lips, that's what I call fast food.